Greetings from the frozen tundra of Slam Bone Field in Grim Bay, Wisconsin, where legends like Slips Bombardi and Threat Carb thrilled crowds stuffed with beer and cheese. We're sure to see some more classic action today if time doesn't freeze. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The San Francisco 49 Bears battle. The Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking. And I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. That's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And they can he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down and it's first and ten Deflected the ball. Second down and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means he can wrap up the other half and see. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall out. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Quarterback calls a sonic blast dirty trick and throws a supersonic missile to his receiver. Hey, 
watch it! Junior comes down! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done! I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks though. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Nice pickup for six yards. That'll be second down and four. He runs it for three. And that'll bring up third and one. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there and they come up with ten yards on the play. Second down the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Target more often. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And cribbling, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. It's two yard run before he stopped.
And it'll be second and eight to go. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And that'll be second and eight to go. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Third down and a pussy here. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. particular case I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? First down and five. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. First and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and six. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. He's not going down. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and nine. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and nine. And he runs it for four yards. down and five.
Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL, and it's good! You know, Grim, in this league we're murdered. And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Oh, boy, there. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Man, this coach must have offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Punter's going to find a cutoff bison head in his bed tonight. And he's got a chance for a good return. He oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very long. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. If you like original or extra crispy, now it looks like extra crispy. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. And it's first and ten. <laughs> they've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Rim? That would make more sense. Second down and more than the QB would like. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. Third down and the punter is warming up. When I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my... Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pitchkin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! And he booted a high-arcing rainbow. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this lane. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. And it's first and ten. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. One in for the first down. 
And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. Zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, two years ago, this guy was a buried, rotting corpse at the edge of the galaxy. And today, look at him. He's a dancing, scoring machine. And what a story. What a, what a wonderful story. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone, quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake she did about 35 years ago. And they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a striptease show. Where are we going? Don't you sell down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. 
He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose. Oh, great catch. And that's a touchdown. Nobody can touch you on our ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And he punched his way out of that tackle. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Chipping away with those medium passes, I like it. Like a patient prison break. Second down and two. First down. And it's first and ten. And a nice pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down in inches. Uh, well, that play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Third down and a sliver. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. If you don't hear it coming, he sinks that one in there for a touchdown. 
little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, throw me. And the running game is starting to click now. A pickup of eight on the play. Second down and two. for a touchdown. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're going to lose, pal. You kind of deserve it if you're this damn scrim. Second down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole! Hey, asshole, up here! Talking to you! Well, surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, what a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Oh. 
Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, what a brutal hit! Third down and six. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. His only chance is to run out of bounds. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say, what the fu 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 fuck? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Lynn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the fuel expenses, that is. And that'll bring up third and one. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. And he runs it in for the touchdown. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls, and by talk I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and forever. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. Third down and eight. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the elevator with me earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And the doors open and the team cheerleaders get on. Oh, oh, that's when small talk is really put to the test.
First and four. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. The defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. Second and three. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Boom! And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. for a touchdown. <laughs> and they come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird. Bam! Gutsy run for the conversion. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. With the brutal hit. We're at the end of the fourth quarter, and the score is tied, and that means overtime. It's a brand new game now. There's more blood on the field than players at this point, Bricks. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Here comes the kickoff. run there for eight yards second down and two 
Third down and five. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. First down and nine. And he picks up about six on the play. Second and three. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And that'll bring up third down and seven. The Grim Bay Attackers come away with the win. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? I pay for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, play it. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...